All right, uh, I haven't made a video in a while, mainly because everything you do, there's a million videos out there, so it doesn't make sense for me to make a video that something is out there like a thousand times. But this one kind of annoyed me. Uh, it's a wheel bearing, NSK wheel bearing, and part number is 45BD, uh, I'm sorry, 45BWD12 for a Honda CRV 2004 I mean uh, I'm an amateur I'm not a pro there's a lot of pros out there that they think they're pros but they're really amateurs and there's a lot of amateurs out there that know more than the pros so let's, let's leave it like that but this one I mean I've replaced wheel bearings before and what, what annoyed me about this one was I was trying to get information on it on which side the magnet was and I didn't have a ferromagnet paper and I didn't have I didn't do the paper clip thing because if you this is Murphy Murphy is my friend Murphy's law if something can go wrong it will go wrong or something like that so here's the wheel bearing right and what what made me uh, go in the wrong direction and I have to repeat this job again is because if you look over here on the one side of the bearing it, there's a dot and there's this timing markers on there for some reason NSK put timing markers on the one side and nothing on the other side this side is all nice and clean so I assumed assumed as you me that the timing side that they put in the NSK was nice enough for me to put markers there for me to see that they are that's where the magnet is so oh great so I don't have to do the magnet check I was so confident that I put it in and I put everything together I went on the road I got all kinds of ABS lights all kinds of uh, Christmas lights on the on there and I was like what the hell and I pretty much I took out the sensor, I put a meter on it, and I couldn't measure anything. I put the, 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 my, one of my uh, OBD2 sensors in there, uh, OBD2 measuring tools, and that was measuring zero miles per hour. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I bought a different one. I couldn't find any information on, e on YouTube or even on the NSK website what, what these timing markers meant. So basically, this 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 I got for twenty eight dollars <laughs> twenty eight dollars from uh, Rock Auto, so this time I did it right. I got me another bearing, all right, and then I got me one of the uh, ferro magnet papers like this, and they sell the cards which is expensive. This is much cheaper. It's just, it's just like magnetic material ferromagnets sandwiched between some kind of liquid in there and when you put it you see the you see how you see the magnets but you see it's on the side that has nothing on there and you see the side that has the timing marker nothing so <laughs> I'm interested why NSK would do that then again, if you bring it up to NSK, it says, you idiot, you're supposed to test it anyway with your with the paper like this. So I assume that this is something that they were using in the factory, manufacturing, the, the dots, the timing dots. I don't know if you can see it. I don't have the greatest equipment, but uh, there's a white dot, and there's this dot, 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 dot. But Murphy's Law, I should have checked it. So you see that? nothing and then when you put it over there you see the you see the markers and of course other ways you can test it is with paper clip I don't have a paper clip let me see what I got here yeah that, that's pretty magnetic you see that if I would have just done that and not assume that the markers were the magnets and so amateur guys out there that are like me listen up don't assume wrong right and NSK you suck for doing that then again I suck because I didn't do it what I was supposed to do 
anyway so that's my video for this uh, for this year have a nice day